Welcome to Athens with me, your host. The plane ride was actually quite um, uneventful, which is how I like it. There were a couple of kids screaming, but they were under control for um, uh, very, very quickly by their parents, thank God, and not controlling them by slapping them. But actually, they're young, very, very young children, maybe about one and a half, two years, and three years old. So this is a fantastic job on welfare. We gave them something to uh, draw on and things like that, and then just spare their attention. I spent the ride just reading magazines and uh, the new Wilbur Smith book. One of my best authors. This one is called The Triumph of the Sun, and I'm really looking forward to reading it because it actually um, brings the Ballantines and the Courtney's together for the first time, I think, as far as I can remember anyway. Um, I started reading it a little bit um, after reading a script that one of my friends gave me that he wants me to produce. Uh, I'll reverse, reserve judgment on that for the moment uh, until I uh, read it again and see if we can uh, do anything with it commercially. The highlight of the trip was, you wouldn't believe this, I received a voucher for 50 Bahraini dinars, that is just $150 or something like that, um, from the Bahrain Duty Free uh, via the Airport Loyalty Club. Uh, that was in 2001. And I left it festering in my drawer at, of, at the office. I completely forgot about it until I was rummaging in the drawer yesterday. And um, what I found, well, I found that. So I took it with me to the airport, not fully expecting really that I can um, exchange it for anything. Because when you think about it, a voucher that is four years out of date, these things normally have six months expired. Day. I said, well, let's go and try it anyway. True enough, I arrived at the airport a couple hours before the flight, went to the duty free, I asked the, the um, uh, salesman there if he'd accept this particular voucher. Nope, came the answer. I said, ask again. Ask your, your uh, superior, your manager. She came over and she brought us a, a big song and dance. No, you can't do it. And that's when I actually looked at the conditions, turned the conditions of the things, and lo and behold, there was no stamp that was going to be uh, redeemed in six months. There is no nothing that is written on it specifically that's got to be redeemed in six months. So, based on that, it's like currency. I mean, if you have one Bahraini dinar that is about you know ten years old, would the uh, Bahraini monetary agency refuse to accept it? I doubt that very much. Otherwise, there would be any kind of uh, value for the money. So I asked her to call her superior, which she did. Um, after a little bit of a struggle, he came over, he looked at it, and he were, obviously was advised um, of the situation before he came over. And I said, look, this is customer service issue, this is not any, anything any kind of thing. Um, I am a passenger, I received this in a bona fide way, um, and it's worth 50 dinars. I'd like to buy something from the store now, please. Can you please advise them to, to accept it? He says, well, no, let me ask the airport loyalty card, whatever thing, Mohammed Khunji, I think his name is, um, and uh, immediately Mohammed came back to him and he says, accept it. Just like that, he said, accept it. End of story. If there's no expiry date on it, if the passenger has come in and is uh, satisfying the rules and conditions of this uh, uh, voucher, then just accept it. Well, thank you very much. I'm really, really impressed. I didn't expect that it would be, uh, uh, well, I, didn't, I expected that it would be an issue. I didn't I really expect that I would, I would encash it there and then. But uh, thanks to Mohammed Khonji and his understanding, and the guys actually were very, very um, uh, helpful at the airport. In the end, what I got was something that I wanted to get for a pretty long time, um, but um, I don't know, I just kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. So what I got is this. It's called the iPod Shuffle. Can you see it? And it's one gigabyte. I don't know if you actually can see it of the uh, of the tongue there of the USB thing. But this was sold, and I've seen it in Giant a few days ago, for 77 Bahrain dinars. I'm not going to count how much it is in dollars, but look at the screen. You'll probably find the text there now. At the airport, they were selling it, this version of 1 gigabyte for 68 dinars. But as the voucher was 50 dinars, I, all I paid for this thing is 18 dinars. 
So I'm really happy. This is really a good start with the holiday. Well, no, 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 this is a, this is a good start for the business trip on a holiday. <laughs> now I have to actually go and record what we actually do with these bloody business trips. Otherwise, nobody would believe me. That slipped. But what can you expect? I mean, if you look out the window, you'll probably do a few minutes or seconds. You'll see the sun is shining, people are out on the street. Um, it is now 20 past 5 in the afternoon in Athens. I can't see the, the Acropolis from here, but I'm told that it's just beyond. I'm on the sixth floor of this hotel, which is definitely about maybe 20-25% more expensive than the hotel I, uh, I showed you last time in Dubai. But the, the room is at least 40-50% uh, smaller than the room in Dubai, and I suspect that the hotel is, is uh, a few notches down from that one. I'm not complaining. It's only about um, three days, four days I'm staying here. I'm going back home on the 30th. Um, and uh, that's it really. Uh, I'm really excited about being to, in Greece again. I'm definitely taking the third day and probably some of the fourth day in here out because I don't have to be available. This is a conference for two days and then two days is a road show and demonstration and things that I don't really uh, fancy uh, sitting, just watching people play with computers. No, thank you very much. If I'm not playing, I'm not interested. I've got to play. I've got a constitutional right to play. And so I'll probably take you around with me. Um, and uh, I brought my stills camera with me as well. It weighs a bloody ton. But listen, the video is taking precedence now. And uh, I shall take you around with me and, and show you everything that I've done. Show you everything that's supposed to happen here. I've just got to charge the batteries. See you later. <laughs>